Trending. For the past two years, Nemulo Nota Paloi has developed a fairly scary online character. It seems he can't resist the attraction of social media commenting, which has seen him become one of South Africa's most prominent internet trolls despite his career being filled with awards that demonstrate his talent and ambition. He began his music career as a rapper, yet there is some uncertainty around his upbringing and how he got to be an artist. He put out a number of mediocre songs, such as Fiesel, Karama, and Preacher with Questa. Although Baloi considers himself one of South Africa's hip-hop pioneers, his work as a music executive has garnered more of the public's attention. Cuesta, whose real name is Senso Velikazi, became one of the most well-known rap artists in the nation during his tenure in that position. He was then a director of two record companies in addition to his own business. So fed Entertainment. Unexpectedly, he was also the CEO of The Orchard, a division of Sony Music Entertainment. Poloi ought to be more widely known for his work in the entertainment sector. But it seems he can't resist the internet's allure, he's posted a ton of popular videos that don't exactly reflect well on him. Listed below are a few of Nota Baloi's online offenses. Ndemes vs Maloli Baloi Baloi can't stop mentioning Maloli Ndemes, a multi-award winning content producer and beauty influencer, in his sentences. A video clip shared by one of Neme's supporters in June of last year served as the catalyst for the entire situation. Poloi continued by saying he didn't find Neme's appealing at all and compared her to an animal he could purchase. He also implied that since she would be his, he could kill her. Regrettably, Poloi attacked the influencer more than once. On Twitter in October, Poloi disparaged her, claiming that Neme's was more gorgeous than his mother and suggesting that she had undergone plastic surgery. As he tweeted, Without having cosmetic surgery, my mother is physically superior to Maloli. Despite being 65 years old, my mother still takes care of the body my father enlisted 39 years ago. At the age of 65, my mom practices yoga every morning and visits the gym three days per week. My father, who is 70, is unable to run a block. Maloli needs to stop disparaging and bothering Nemes now. Barita hand waves. Kaguletu Kumolo, widely known by her stage name Barita, went Baloi in a secret ceremony in 2020, shocking the nation in the process. Less than a year after they became one of South Africa's most famous couples. The two decided to call it quits, a choice I can only assume Kumolo was thrilled to make. In July, she made the announcement of their breakup in a since-deleted Twitter post. It described her marital difficulties and disclosed that they had been apart since January 13th of last year. She also disclosed that she had to end the marriage due to safety concerns. I have kept quiet because I have been quite concerned about my safety. This individual is incredibly reckless, irresponsible, and rowdy. He merely doesn't pay attention to anyone. I do not support his behavior. He has made mistakes in his speech so many times that I can't even begin to count them, Kumalo tweeted. Prior to marrying Baloi, who she also claimed need assistance for what she claimed to be mental health difficulties. It appears that she failed to notice several, quite large red lights. She wisely trimmed her losses, said goodbye, and is still with us today. Nota vs Motsi One of the more unexpected feuds in the entertainment sector in recent years was definitely this one. Baloi had a very active month in July of last year. He gained notoriety after getting on the wrong side of musician and TV host Nomuzi Mabina, also known as Musli. After Mabina had had enough of Baloi's internet pranks, the beef started. This came after Baloi ridiculed black women and questioned their mental stability while making disparaging remarks about Nemes and her love involvement with businessman Leroy Sedembi. Even media personality Lassizwi Dembuza came under fire from him for his relationship with Mohali Motaang, the ex-husband of Samizi Mlongo. According to a briefly report, Mabina vented her rage on Instagram. Writing. One thing about me is that I'll pray for someone, but not at Levitanota. The next time I see him, I'm absolutely punching him in the face. She also criticized his supporters for sticking with him despite his derogatory remarks about women. Or to rest in peace, leave. Baloi appears to be the lone person who struggles to understand the concept of allowing someone to rest in peace. After the rapper Kiernan aka Forbes was fatally shot in Durban last month. 
he volunteered to serve as the unofficial spokesperson for the late artist. A Twitter user shared a video of Paloye raving about how the women in the industry weren't supporting the rapper enough after his passing in the days following Forbes' passing. Listen. You f asterisk asterisk king woman. You f asterisk 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 woman in public office. You want Cairo to have no f asterisk asterisk king father when he grows up. In the one minute video, he added, you are saying nothing. All of you f asterisk asterisk and female celebs. In the future, after doing his own inquiry, he would offer his own suspicions regarding who killed Forbes. Paloi accused Forbes companions at the restaurant in Durban where he was killed. Forbes acquaintances. He immediately went into hiding after that. He claimed that after naming Forbes accused killers, he would no longer be secure and that he thought he was a marked man. Paloi appears to have unlimited time to do all of his tasks except for his job. It's unclear whether his activities indicate that he's beginning a career as an internet troll or whether they are the first indications that someone needs psychological help. What happens to the man who has arguably emerged as one of South Africa's vilest, most sexist, and foul-mouthed online trolls will only become clear with time.